If you're new to the ketogenic diet, in 2018, I lost over 85 pounds and have maintained it through a low-carb ketogenic lifestyle. Now my passion is to share recipes to help keep you on track. Now this strawberry shake is going to shake up your keto world. I've been making this shake since about 2020. Not only is it low carb, it is healthy. It is still one of my favorite summertime treats. Now, there is an ingredient, a secret ingredient, and when I reveal the secret ingredient, you may be thinking, Ugh. Guys, I assure you, you will absolutely love this when you make it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to shaking. Now we're gonna need a food processor for this recipe. And I find my Nutribullet works just perfect for this recipe. Well, almost perfect. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Then we're gonna add our first ingredient, which is frozen strawberries. And I find it easiest to buy them in bulk and freeze them. Now to keep the carb count low, we're only gonna be using a half cup of frozen strawberries. And next is a secret ingredient. Can you guess what it is? We're gonna be using one cup of this ingredient. Next, you'll need one half teaspoon vanilla extract. And be very careful because imitation vanilla has sugar in it. Next, you'll need two to three tablespoons heavy whipping cream. I typically use two tablespoons, but on the occasion that I want it creamier, I add an additional one. Next, you'll need almond milk. And if you buy the one that has vanilla added, you can go ahead and omit the vanilla. Now, I prefer allulose for this recipe, but feel free to use erythritol if you'd like, but you're gonna need three tablespoons. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. But a quick question, did you figure out what the secret ingredient was? If you guessed cucumber, you were right. And guys, a quick tip, make sure you buy the seedless English cucumbers, the ones that come individually wrapped. Now notice how thick this is and there's still chunks, so you're gonna have to pull out your immersion blender. Now this may take a little bit of time, but don't worry guys, this will maintain a soft serve consistency. Now once you've got this mixed up to a nice creamy texture like this, you can add sweeteners if it's not sweet enough for you. Now this is my favorite anti-inflammatory sweetener, which is monk fruit extract. And I have an extreme sweet tooth, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of it to the mix. Now just to show you how good this holds up, during videoing, it takes us a lot of time. And still, look at how thick this is. Guys, this will take the place of any smoothie with its cold, creamy, delicious and refreshing taste. So go ahead, get that food processor out, get some frozen strawberries, frozen cucumbers, maybe some whipped cream, add a strawberry, sit back, relax, and enjoy this game-changing strawberry shake. And if you like this video, make sure to check out my other videos where there's a little delicious something for everybody. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.